I might have to revisit this <laughs> and revise it because it's not looking uber good. Hello guys and welcome back. Welcome back to episode 47 of my Minecraft solo series. I hope you guys are all doing okay and keeping well. If you haven't been following this series so far, there is a playlist on my channel with all the episodes so far. If you guys have been following this series and really want to show it some love, really does mean a lot if you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Shout out to Yash for supporting the channel via Patreon. And finally, something I'm doing unique to this series, guys, is if you leave me a comment, preferably about what you'd like to see from this series, I'll be putting you on a little wall of fame just to say thank you for engaging with the channel but anyway guys we'll get straight into today's episode and i hope you guys enjoy cheers guys okay diddly doke we are back being bothered by a zombie don't know what don't quite know what's going on but you know it's all good a couple exciting updates for you guys i've been doing and revolutionizing the old sh villager sitch so this is how we're looking we have somehow now got an iron golem as well which i thought was interesting i didn't know it was a thing i assume it's because of the density of villagers we now have all the gang here so we got two farmers on the precipice that we're gonna is that the right word Pre precipice i don't know that we kind of need some easy way to farm up some emeralds so we got these two guys oh so we've got these two guys leveling them up as we go Got a hell of a lot of iron armor. Just trying to get those trades up. We got a librarian for some cool, cool stuff. And then we got another weaponsmith, uh, another armorer. And we've got the two OGs over here. He's max level, of course. Need to try and get this guy up a bit when we get the chance to. But what I really need to do is farm some coal uh, for both of these guys. The hell's so bad about mining coal? So uh, I'll have to do a coal farming sesh at some point. But that is where we're at with the villager sitch from last episode. So huge shout out to be able to do it now because it's relevant find him ah paulius barto Savicius, i believe thank you for the suggestion to get the old villager situation improved really does mean a lot and that actually leads me on to today's commenter from last episode so i'd like to say thank you to Demet if I'm pronouncing that right before showing some love on last week's episode really does mean a lot and like I said guys if you want to be featured just give me a shout as to what you'd like to see from the series that really helps me form the uh, direction for each episode as I have mentioned I've been doing the old villager expansion that's not what we're going to be focusing on again this episode we're almost level 30 so we're going to be uh, sorting ourselves out uh, at some point and maybe doing an enchantment this episode we shall see kind of run out of wheat at the moment because I've been using it for the old upgrades maybe we'll do some chicken farm I mean, or, or leveling up near the tail end of this episode. But firstly, when we get past all the noise, what I want to do is actually get like a little wolf pen going or wolf cave because the old guys in there are um, looking a bit depressed. They need a bit of fresh air, you know, so I feel like uh, I feel like we need to get this, uh, get this looking all groovy. Now, I kind of like the natural feel, so I don't really know how I'm going to do this. Maybe I'll give them some flooring so it's not too like destitute, but... Yeah, we'll see. And I'll show you guys how it's looking. We'll put some flooring in, see how we're feeling. Lovely, jubbly. Need to replenish my tree stock, looking a bit barren. I want to, like, unflatten this whole area. Or not, like, make it less flat, if that makes sense. Plan with that is to actually have more than four or five trees. We are also now stacked on pumpkin pie because we had to do all that trading. So we're absolutely balling. Did you try that pumpkin pie? No. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that looks a bit tacky, actually. We're gonna keep it like this. Right, so we need a little spade to do some of the pathing. Shame that they, we've not. Look, look how many helmets we've got. What do I do with all the helmets? Just, that's the question. My shovel's on the brink, so just need to get get one to do the job. Right, let's get this pathway looking all groovy. Lovely stuff. I'm gonna widen it out and connect it a bit. Hells yes. I probably want to tuck the torches away. I might get a glowstone, you know. Let's whack some glowstone in there. That'll look quite edgy, I think, in the caves, corners. Oh, it's gonna be honest, it's pretty so simmering. Roasting a little bit. Did a drive track day in IRL, IRL things. So got to race, race a little Nissan GTR around the track, which was pretty groovy. So feeling pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Need to need to get myself in gear and try and hunt for another right template at some point. But uh, you know, I just wanted to bosh out the villager stuff first and do this, and then I think next episode we'll have to go for it. We just got to get it done. We just got to do it. We need to progress. Guys, we're going to be there forever. Right, let's get the finishing touches on this bad boy. Let's get the wolves in. We should be groovy. Look at this. Oh yes, got it. There's their nice little uh, sitting pad here, and they're water to the side. Right, come on, guys, just, just chill out. 
is sorted. Here's the other guy gone. Not a fan of those or something. Come here. Come here, son. Come here. Yes. And look this way. Oh, no. I suddenly tried to breathe the guy. Hey! We got their little cave. Their sort of loving life. Got their water and everything. I was debating putting an item frame up with a bone. So that might be a little refinement we do. It's a little bit, this is a little bit bootleg, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I might have to revisit this <laughs> and revise it because it's not looking uber good. But um, I, w I wanted to go for like that kind of cave feel. So I've gone with like supporting beams and everything um, just to make it look a bit more groovy. Uh, I don't know if this looks weird. More cave vibes. Uh, I think that kind of works. But they've got their little, little area now. Anyways, final touch. Final touch for the episode is to do some chicken breeding. So uh, apologies for the uh, the ear assault. If you cannot hear me. Oh my god. Right, we're good. So on to the next and final thing for this episode that I wanted to achieve is to actually do some enchanting. So we shall try and get a good sword again. We need it. Lord knows we need it. What we got? I'm raking. Right, moment of truth. We need this to be something good. Come on. Wow. Sharpness three. That is uh, pretty bad, I think. But uh, I guess we've got like a less more, a less of a pea shooter weapon now. Right, guys. I think it's time to wrap the episode up here. Thank you for joining me for another one. This might be a slightly quicker one. I don't know, depending on the edit. But I've been a busy bee doing a couple other bits. So I hope you guys still enjoyed nonetheless. And as always, really does mean a lot if you pop me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see from future, oh God, future episodes. But I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day, whatever you're doing. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Cheers, guys.